We'll begin the process of setting up our restaurant by defining employees. You can define employees by going to the Manager Functions menu. You'll notice that the Manager Functions menu in this scenario, in this setup, is a password protected module and it's protected under the Restaurant Manager module password. For more information on configuring passwords for modules and enabling users for access to modules, please see the standard video training series discs. Employees are defined by selecting Define Employees. Throughout the software, as you enter the definition options, you'll, be no you'll notice that you have an option to add entries, to modify existing entries, or to delete existing entries. If you select Modify, you will get a pick list of the items that are available to select from. Again, throughout the software, you'll notice that we use pick list to help you quickly find entries in a database. When in a pick list, you can simply type a value that you're searching for and the software will automatically try to look up that record. Also in several databases there are multiple sort orders that are available and you can press F8 to toggle between the different sort orders that are available. In the employee database here we only have the option to sort by name. So we can select an entry and then we can modify that entry. If we wanted to add a new entry we would simply select add, put in an employee number, and then specify the information for that employee. In the restaurant software, it's important to maintain strictly numeric values for all employee numbers, as well as to use the same value in the salesperson ID as is used in the employee number. Uh, this will assist in employees being able to enter their, their uh, server information using the numeric touchpads that are on the screen. Additionally, uh, the option is available in the software to have employees use card swipes to uh, swipe employee cards which are available from business software solutions to clock in and clock out as well as to, uh, to perform their server in and server out functions. Additional information that's available for employees is primarily covered in the restaurant or in the video training series for the standard business accounting software, but you can define their contact information, city uh, you know, address, that type of information, their telephone information. Uh, there are, are several fields here that are relevant to payroll, including social security, number of exemptions, taxable status. The hourly rate that you define for each employee will be used. Uh, both to calculate their payroll if you put if you are using the payroll in the software as well as to calculate uh, labor costs on some of the restaurant management reports uh, finally you also have an option here to allow non-approved clockouts if you have enabled the function that requires manager approval for a clockout uh, but some of your employees such as cooks uh, etc are not required to reconcile with a manager and therefore you want them to be able to clock out without approval you could specify there with a yes that they're approved for clock out. Uh, there are several additional fields of information most of these relate to payroll and again for more information on the employee definition screen you can see the employee uh, training video under the standard video training series. Once you've finished working with an employee, you can save that record. Uh, you'll notice that you can navigate through all of the records that you have defined. Uh, there's a pick list that you can use to locate uh, any, any uh, employee that you'd like to work with, as well as you have the option to from here to select Add to create a new entry, modify to modify the entry that you're currently viewing, or Delete to delete the entry that you're currently viewing.